I've heard that quitting cold turkey is easier in the long run than using the patch or gum. What is your opinion on that? If I used either one of those to help me quit, would I have to wean myself off of the gum or the patch later on? And maybe that's what they mean by it's easier in the long run. Do we know anything about that, anecdotally or otherwise? Well, you know, I a lot of people do quit cold turkey, but it doesn't last. I mean, um, I see. about only about five percent <clears throat> will be able to remain a non-smoker if they quit cold turkey. Um, one of the things about the nicotine. Uh, replacement therapy such as the patch or gum, it helps alleviate a lot of the withdrawal symptoms. Such as when people, um, before when people were depressed, and, you know, they were saying, well now there's really no reason for you to be depressed because there's so many good medications. And the same with, with tobacco use, there's really no reason to go through those horrible withdrawals because there's so many good medications that can help alleviate a lot of that. Um, yes, the person when they get on the patch, what it does, it just it provides them. It's a, a nicotine delivery system which provides them with enough nicotine where the withdrawals are bearable. Um, eventually, they will have to wean off it, but it's but they're not getting the tar and the carcinogens in their body as if they were a smoker. I say so. Okay. So I would recommend. Um, this person to use the patch or one of the um, nicotine replacements and call our quit line. Okay. And data shows that the mm -hmm. most effective mm -hmm. approach is to use a support or a clinic setting along with nicotine replacement. Mm -hmm. We get the best results with that combination. Okay. All right. Thank you.